Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. Today I wanted to do a brief discussion and quick demonstration on how I hone my different models of WC knives that have the woodsman's grind. Normally when I use one of these knives in my video, I notice the number one comment is how would you even sharpen or hone up a knife with all those different angles? And just initially looking at this, I can totally understand why people might think that. Especially if you haven't had a whole lot of experience sharpening knives and even if you have, that can be kind of intimidating. But the key feature about Williams knives that you have to understand is that from the base of this blade to the very tip is one single angle. This is an 11 and a half degree bevel on the cutting edge from base to tip. And once you understand that, it's quite simple. Once you make the skindy part of this blade down at the base to your sharpening device, whether it be a stone or ceramic rod, strop, whatever you're using, you just have to maintain that bevel from base to tip. So I wanted to do a quick demonstration of that today, maybe dispel some of the myths that these knives are hard to sharpen because they're quite easy as much as any other Scandi ground knife. I wanted to demonstrate that for you on camera. So stick with me and we're going to hone up this Woodsman's EDC blade by William Collins. All right, so my preferred tool to use when I'm going to hone these knives in the field is just a simple ceramic rod. And this particular one came with the Lansky's boxed set. It's the little wooden box that has a little turn lid on it. There's four rods with it. I prefer to freehand these rather than use the wooden guide that comes with it. Because that way I can get the perfect angle based on the blade that I'm using. Not all blades obviously are ground at the same angle. So this uh, freehanding process allows me to perfectly mate this ceramic rod to the blade that I'm honing. I've also attached just a little wooden bead here to the end. It gives me a nice grip. And it's also serving as a safety backstop. So if I were to slide too far for some reason, instead of hitting my hand, the blade will stop here on the edge of this little wooden piece here. So it makes a nice little field sharpener, nice and compact. So to actually get started honing the woodsman's grind with this ceramic rod, the first step is the same as it would be as if you were sharpening or honing a Scandi ground knife. Because Scandi grinds have those wide bevels, they're very easy to mate with the sharpening device, whether it's a stone, a paddle strop, or even in this case, a ceramic rod. All you do is mate the grind to the device that you're gonna sharpen with. And I'm hoping you can see that well in the camera. When I tilt that, just lay it right there. And you can see there's a shadow between the blade and the rod right now. I tilt it until that's gone. And I don't really have to see it because I can feel it. But when you're first getting started and you're learning this process, it's good to pay attention and see it. And then I just maintain that angle from the base all the way back to the tip. And you can see, I tilt it once it mates. I don't have to sharpen this blade in, or hone this blade in two stages. I can go right past that little tooth, this little hook area. I can keep right on going. Because it's the same angle, it's easy to pass right by that little tooth and maintain your angle. And this side I can't see as well because it's going away from me. Hopefully you can see it on the camera, but I can feel it. I tilt and I can feel that when the two mate together and just maintain that angle. These blades are very easy to hone. And part of that is because William's steel is very good and it hones very easily and maintains a razor sharp edge. But finding that angle of that grind is a piece of cake. And some people might think that you need to sharpen the inside hook of this first and then sharpen this second. But as you can see, once I make the two together, I can slide from there right on out to the tip. No problem. And if I'm working with one of these knives for say 30 minutes to an hour, carving wood, working on a project or something, I'll take the ceramic rod out and touch this thing up eight to 10 times uh, each side and it stays just razor sharp. It's just biting right into my thumbnail. No doubt it would shave hair right now. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate that because I don't have a lot of hair left on my arm from sharpening knives. But anyway, you can see this thing will bite right into your fingernail and just bites right in. As soon as you touch, you can feel it latch on. And that's plenty sharp for me for carving wood. Yeah, feels perfect. So a lot of people might think these knives are hard to maintain, but in reality, piece of cake. So while we're doing this, I figure I'll go ahead and check on my Junior Woodsman. This is not the knife that's on my belt today, but probably my favorite of my WC knives. So I figured while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and check on this one as well. Touch it up a couple of strokes. You can see, same process, the scandy portion of the blade made it to the rod. So again, just tilt until that shadow disappears. I can feel that 
and just follow it all the way out to the tip. Once again, scandy portion, mate to the rod, slide right out to the tip. And this knife is already really sharp. Oh my goodness, that thing is ridiculous sharp. This one, yeah, it's just no need to even mess with that. It's perfect. Couldn't ask for a better, better edge on a knife. So very simple with these Woodsman's Grind and a ceramic rod can touch these things right up. All right, so I know that was a very short and simple demonstration. However, maintaining your knife's edge in the field should be a short and simple operation. And it shouldn't require a whole lot of extra, you know, special gear in order to do that. I can come out for multiple days and keep my knife hair popping sharp with nothing but that ceramic rod. So it's not heavy and burdensome to carry that gear. And it's a very simple process that if I do it regularly, only takes a matter of seconds, maybe a minute or so. Whereas if you keep using that knife to the point that it's dull and you have to put it on stones then it requires specialized equipment and it takes a lot more time and energy and effort and skill to keep that knife sharp so my suggestion is to make it second nature to hone your knife regularly in the field so that it stays in its optimal working order that way you don't get to that point where your knife's just totally dull and you can't really use it as well going forward you keep that thing hair popping sharp at all times and so it's always performing at its peak level for you. All right, so I hope that this video will clear up any myths or confusion that people may have about the difficulty of sharpening these WC knives, Woodsman grind knives. It's actually quite simple, and I hope that I've demonstrated that for you. I want to thank you for your time and interest. I hope that you'll come back often. I hope if you haven't subscribed to the channel that you'll go ahead and do that now, and I hope to be talking to you with another video again very soon. Until that one, take care, and God bless. Mm -hmm.